Number one is going to have us use graphing technology to create a scatter plot and find a line of best fit. You can find websites that will do this for you if you don't have a graphing calculator. I'm going to use a graphing calculator to do this. You can actually download a graphing calculator onto your phone from, I think it's free in both Apple and Android, and it's called Calculate 84. I know it's called Calculate 84 in the iPhone. I'm not sure on Android. So what you're going to do is we're going to need to put this data into our calculator. And where you do that is in this stat button. So you're going to go to stat and then click number one, which is edit. And this is where you can edit your lists. So then we're just going to type in the X values into this first column here. And just be careful that you type everything in correctly. Then you're going to move over to list two and type in your Y values. So make sure that they have the same number of data points entered and then that all of your data points are entered correctly. Then what you're going to want to do is if we're going to actually do a scatter plot, which this asks us to do, we want to make sure our window is set for these data points. Because if you hit graph right now, you're not going to see anything in your window. Number one, because you haven't done a scatter plot. Number two, because your window is not correct. So let's change our window first. So this X minimum, our lowest X value is 83. So I'm just going to put this at 75 for my lowest X value. My highest X value is 104. So I'm just going to put my upper boundary at 110. The lowest Y value we have is 102. So I'm going to put 90 in as my Y minimum. And then the highest Y value we have is 127. So I'm just going to put 140 in for my Y maximum. So this gives us a window that will show these data points. Then if your points aren't showing in here, it's probably because you don't have your stat plot on. And so if you see this little blue stat plot here, so we're going to hit the second button and Y equals my stat plot is on, but yours is likely off. So you'll want to click enter in there and yours probably looks like this, in which case you won't see a graph. So you're going to want to turn that on by just clicking enter on the on button. Then you can choose these dots as the scatter plot. You have your X's in list one, your Y's in list two, and then you can choose the type of dot that you want to use. I like this little box. Then you can hit graph and your stat plot will show up. So here's your, here's your scatter plot and then you could um, draw a sketch here if you wanted to. And then it wants you to find the line of, whoops, the line of best fit. So the line of best fit, you're going to go back into your stat menu. And this time you're going to go over to calculate. And these points were in basically a, a line. So we're going to do a linear regression. So hit enter on that. Again, your X's were in list one, your Y's are in list, list two. So you'll just click enter to calculate. And this will give you your um, line of best fit. So I'm just going to screenshot this quick and bring this into here so that we can write the equation. So they give you this equation, y equals ax plus b. So y equals, and then you plug in your a, and the a is 1.089. So you can put 1.089x plus b is 15.588. So you just plug those in for A and B. So this A is here and the B 
is here. What does the best fit line estimate the Y value would be when X is 100? So now you actually plug this in. So now you're going to plug 100 in for X. So we're going to put a 100 in there and just calculate this. So we'd have um, one, whoops, 1.089 times 100 plus 15.588. And that would give us about 124.5. Number two, what is the equation of the line of best fit for this? Round to two decimal places. So we'll go and do this again so we can kind of clear out everything. We can go to stat, edit our list. So when you're clearing out your list, you want to go up to the list number, hit clear. Don't hit delete or it'll delete your whole list. So now that you've cleared this out, just arrow back down and your list will um, be gone. So you'll see all the data in here. You're going to clear it out and then click down. So now we have 2.3, 2 2.8, 3 3.1, 3.5, 3.8. And then 6.2, 5.7, 4.7, 3.2, 3, and 2.8. Now, this time we didn't need to do the scatter plot, so you don't have to worry about the graphing. So this time you're just going to go stat over to calculate. And then again, you want linear regression. And then you just hit enter, and it'll calculate that for you. And then you just plug these in, and this wanted us to round to um, two decimal places. So we will get the equation y equals negative 2.45 x plus 11.83. So this 2 is going to round up because you have a 5 after it. So there's our line of best fit. What does the equation estimate for y when x is 2.3? So then again, we'll take this equation and we'll do negative 2.45 times 2.3 plus 11.83. And then you'll just calculate this with your calculator. So we'll do negative 2.45 times 2.3 plus 11.83, and we'll get 6.195 which it wanted three decimal places. So y equals 6.195. How does the estimated value compare to the actual value? So now if we look here, 2.3 we have in here as an actual value of 2. Point, uh, sorry, of 6.2. So this is really close to 6.2, right? It's only five one thousandths off. And so pretty close. So it's only five one thousandths of a unit below the actual value. How does the estimated value compare to the actual value for the table when x is 3? So then we have to plug 3 into our equation and figure out what we get back for 3. So we'd have y equals negative 2.45 times 3 plus 11.83. And we would figure out what that is. So we can go into here. And we can just type in 3 instead of 
and this will give us 4.471. And our estimated value here was only 3.2. So this one is significantly higher than the original. Or not the original, the actual. All right, then number three says, which of these dot plots are best fit by the shown linear model? And remember, the best fit means it's close to the most dots. So this one, we see quite a few of them off. This one, most of the dots are touching the line. So this one's really good. This one has quite a few below and above. And then this one again um, is missing quite a few of them. So B is the one that fits this one the best. Number four, a seed is planted in a in a glass pot and its height is measured in centimeters every day. The best fit line is given by this equation where Y is the height of the plant above ground level and X is the number of days since it first sprouted. What is the slope of the line of, the, of, the line of best fit? And what does it mean in this situation? So we know that the slope is the number that is in front of or attached to the X variable because it's the part that's changing. And so we see that the slope is 0 0.404. And what this means is that each day the plant grows by 0 0.404 um, centimeters. And is that reasonable? Yeah, that seems reasonable. So it seems it seems reasonable that the plant would be able to grow 0.4 centimeters um, per day. So let me get this so that we can read it. All right, and then what is the y-intercept for the line of best fit, and does that make sense? And so the y-intercept is the constant number. So here's our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is negative 0.518, and does this make sense? Um, no. The plant can't be negative feet, right, or centimeters. So it would represent, you know, kind of almost before it before it sprouted, but it it doesn't make sense in this context. You can't have a negative height. Number five at a restaurant, the total bill and the percentage of the bill left as a tip are represented in a scatter plot. The best fit line is represented by this equation, where x represents the total bill and y represents the percentage of tip. Um, the percent of the bill left as a tip. What does the best fit line estimate for the percentage of bill left as a tip if the bill is $15? So then we're going to want to plug 15 in here. So y equals negative 0 0.632 times 15 plus 27.1. So then you'll just want to calculate that using your calculator. and you would get 17.62. And 17.62 would be the percent. And is that reasonable? And I would say, yeah, that's reasonable. Tipping right now is approximately like around 20%. And so that seems to make sense that you could tip 17% of your bill. 
Then B said, what does the line of best fit predict if the bill is $50? So then we would plug this in again and plug in 50 and see what we get here. So then just plug this into your calculator. So do negative 0.632 times 50 plus 27.1. And this is giving you negative 4.5% for the tip. And this does not make sense. Um, you can't tip a negative amount. Number six, the, a recent study investigated the amount of battery life remaining in alkaline batteries of different ages. The scatter plot shows the relationship between the different alkaline batteries tested. The scatter plot includes the point 715, describe its meaning. So the X value is the age of the battery in years. And then the Y value is the battery life in hours. So this seven represents the battery is seven years old. And the Y value tells um, the battery life in hours. So the battery is seven years old and it's battery life is 15 hours.